Final Ninja Zero. Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Final Ninja Zero. I'm MCF Poppin, this is part one. It's quite a few months since I recorded the Final Ninja Let's Play, but here I am back to do Final Ninja Zero. And I don't know exactly how far I've gotten in this game, but I know for a fact I've never actually completed it. I think the way this level select works is like the building gets filled up with levels as you progress, like you're going through different rooms of the building, and I think I got to like about here with the building being full, and that's all I remember, but anyway. 2028, huge corporations battle for markets across the planet. They control everything and everyone. On the front line are warriors like Takeshi, a young ninja fresh from Combat Academy. Today is his first corporate espionage mission. Whittle does Takeshi realize that today begins the story of a legendary ninja, the final ninja. 40 years before the events of Final Ninja 1, but... Even though it's set in the past compared to Final Ninja 1, it's still set in the far future of 2028, only four years away. I say that even though I'm recording in 2023, because I know it'll be 2024 by the time this gets actually uploaded. And hey, it actually loaded properly. It took me a while to figure out how to get this thing to work because it got stuck at the loading screen so often. Which is really weird. It's Akuma here. Dr. Victor Boshi is your target. His hyper-addictive, cheap and chunky burger brand is dominating the international snack market. It's time the Chunky Range and the Doctor are phased out. This base has high level security, so you'll be supported by a crack team, team of my Samurai Guard. This should be a quick job, don't make a meal of it. Her her, a meal? How appropriate, eh? Haha. <laughs> cough, cough, ugh. Time I upgraded this body. Yeah, by the way, how about this story of... In the dystopian future corporations are employing military forces to control the population. That would never happen in real life. Takeshi, use your spacebar to close this message or to open a message wherever you see the MS... I guess that's supposed to be MSG, but like the G gets has gotten cut off on the text. Press the pause icon to see if you've missed any messages. Some may be weak and hard to find. And there's just like some robo-soldiers to take down. And how about all these samurai guys who were really annoying in the first game. Now they're our allies and they'll like even block stuff from projectiles and even like help you kill the enemies yourself. Cool, right? Ooh, and now if you can see there's a mysterious sinister eyeball there, but we don't notice that. So we fall for the trap. Oh no. Oh, that's cool. I guess the hunt bonus means like number of enemies you take out. And you even get a bonus for collecting all the messages. That's pretty interesting. Takeshi awakes alone in a cold cell somewhere deep in the base. Thankfully, at least, the text stays on the screen long enough for you to actually read it. That's an issue with some of the Nitrone games. 
Takeshi, this is Lady Snowfox. I'm Akuma's spy in the base. Unfortunately, I'm located near the top of this tower, so I'm going to help you remotely for the moment. I believe you were attacked by Maxwell Murloc, head of the Murloc Food Pharma Corp. I don't know why Dr. Boshi's boss is here. It must be important, as our intel said Maxwell is now a complete recluse. If I find out more, I'll tell you right away. Yeah, I gotta love the cute little soldier just patrolling back and forth, guarding the cell, not realizing that there's a whole open area here in the back. <laughs> I've scanned the room. You can get out through the ceiling. You need to find the exit lift and move up through the tower. Boshi's lab complex is near the top. If you need to learn your controls, you can press the help icon to find out what they are at any time. Watch out for the drone mines, they explode on impact. Use your ninja stars to take them out. Yeah, it feels so much nicer to be able to have an actual good controlling ninja controls, because for reference, I just got done with the Mega Mash Let's Play where there's a final ninja segment, but it does not control well at all in that game. Some of the workers hide their secret sushi lunches from the company's spying eyes. Eat them whenever you can. You have a lot of climbing to do. And it's funny that this is supposed to be set in the past compared to Final Ninja, but like the drone mines look so much more higher tech compared to the ones that are supposed to be in the future. And by the way, get a load of the background here, like that looks so cool with like the lights on, I guess this private island complex. Even though we're supposed to be in the complex, so I'm not sure why we can see it outside our window, but we can. And he still does the YOSA for completing a level. On to the security grid. Oh. I was expecting there to still be like a floor there or something, but no, there isn't. I'm not really going to care much for score in this game. The tower is riddled with tripwire lasers. Use your stealth ability when they pass over you, otherwise you'll set off an alarm and activate the search and destroy mode in nearby enemies. The alarm can also trigger robot factories to release more enemies into the area. Avoid them at all costs or you'll get outnumbered. And now here the lasers are much more sinister red compared to the magenta of the first game. Ooh, now here got to climb the vertical shaft while watching out for it. And yeah, they do seek you out, but like the first game, as long as there's not like a security grate, it's really not the end of the world if they actually do spot you. But yeah, there's a lot, but eh. It's manageable. Plus, with like all these lasers, you practically want to just run right through them. And eh, who cares? All right. On to the barracks. These 
hot laser beams are deadly. Also watch out for signs highlighting dangerous drops. Falling will mean certain death. Ooh, now we get the lasers and I saw that one enemy with the gun up there. Takeshi, SWAT units have been sent to look for you. If you use stealth, they can't see you. If you must fight, then be careful. They have cybernetically enhanced accuracy and attack speed. Does Japan's police force, like, use SWAT officers? I don't know, maybe this is making a statement about how police officers are in the pockets of big corporations. A truly dystopian thought that would never happen in real life. Oh well, I see the elevator shaft, but I guess it's down more. Well, that was dumb of me. <laughs> I jumped right into the laser there. Oh well. The restricted area. Ooh. Ah. Is there a message telling us? Yeah. The force field is powered by a generator. You can follow the pipes to the generator. One good hit should take it out. Yeah. I will say those officers sure are bullet happy. <laughs> or trigger happy, I should say. Ah. Look at that stealth move. And they'll actually turn around if you shoot them. Huh. Smart. Oh, that's back where I came. I don't think there are checkpoints in any of these sorts of levels. Oh, what did you say? The shock walls are electrified. Don't ever touch them. Don't even try to fire a rope into them. You'll get cooked to a crisp. Now what? You'll need your wall slide technique to get around this area. Just press the direction key towards the wall you're on and you will slow your slide, making leaping from wall to wall easier. I remember at the Combat Academy leaping up and down those walls. It was hard, but I loved that training. I wish I was down there with you. Being a spy stuck behind a desk isn't much fun. Yeah, I understand it's a tutorial, but boy, they sure love giving messages for everything. And first death. Well, no, actually. First death of actually getting hit by enemies. My other first death was jumping down the elevator shaft like an idiot. Much better performance there. Alright. To get up walls quickly, fire the rope into the wall above you and push up. Repeat this quickly and you can zip up walls really fast. I can zip up walls really fast right into the stupid electricity. Oh, 
Okay. Surely this is the last bit of the level. Sheesh, there's still more going on. Man, I guess they really want to make sure you understand about the mechanics. Oh, that's a, not a gun I can destroy. Huh. I'm surprised there wasn't a message explaining about the undestructible guns to me. <laughs> Watch out, these white lab walls are titanium hybrids, super rock hard. You won't be able to fire rope into them and they'll cut your rope if it touches them. I actually wanted to just end the part with the last level, but... Oh well, since I'm here now, I'll be doing, might as well do it. Oh, <laughs> I about got squished there. And hey, how about this? Finally, some new mechanics for this game. I mean, technically the SWAT officers and that sort of thing is new, but that's such a minor thing. There are sentinel robots ahead. These boys can be very tough to take out. Don't try and fight them in a small space. Use stealth so their green laser can't scan you and let them go past you. Don't sweat it, Taki. You just play it cool and patient. There are they are unshielded when they fire. You don't mind if I call you Taki. For such a young pup, you're a pretty good ninja. Ooh, is there an actual romance subplot plan for this? <laughs> Maybe. I know in the first game you could just stand right by him and they wouldn't see you, but I'm not sure about here. Mr. Murloc, Test Group A101 shows a complete addiction to product mini dinky doodle snack dogs. After only a few months of consuming them, many major organs are showing a fatigue with no direct evidence connecting this to the snack dogs brand. Passing regulations will be no problem. A company knowingly selling horribly unhealthy products and hiding it from the public? Once again, a dystopian future that would never possibly happen in our world. <laughs> anyway, with that done, like and subscribe if you want. I'll see you in the next part when we go more higher in the tower because we keep on going up. See you then.